Hi there, this is Olivia. Uh, so um, coming back to this playlist because I thought I was being too lazy by not doing a um, like a final illustration and I try to add color to at least one of these studies that I did and I'm not calling them designs because there's a lot that needs to be resolved if um if i wanted to cut and make them and so yeah that that would probably need to be another video oh my god cannot stop this playlist uh but yeah first things first um i printed one and uh, actually it doesn't hurt if you print more than one in uh, this kind of art paper this will if it gets heavier than this then uh like a normal home printer wouldn't be able to um, pass the paper through but um, yeah if it's too heavy and your printer can take it you can always take it to the print shop and they'll do it for you jesus christ what? yeah once i start painting and drawing this video might get a uh, little bit more like slower paced so feel free to get some tea and uh, coffee and cake um, have breakfast while watching this feel free to multitask uh, so yeah I got this paper that's a little bit heavier because maybe I'll try to use like some watercolors and I have water here this is a good tip when you're working get one of these jars because less dangerous um, okay so leave these here for now and I have my markers here I got these fabric swatches and I'm really enjoying, so I think this one looks really cute. Let's see how this texture, how I can like make this texture and, um, an illustration. And I really like this color combination. I was supposed to choose only one out of these, I'll probably buy a few meters of each because I really enjoy this and uh, I also got these fabric swatches um, so you know for rib fabric because let me see if I'll draw this one or maybe I'll do this one Yeah, you rarely find colors that match exactly because this is, you know, this is markers, this is fabric, different medias that will show colors differently. But um, yeah, I think this is good enough. I think it would, uh, it would be like this. So it'll probably come like this. And then these would come more around here. Blue. Uh, I'll use this one for now and then um, if I want to have this navy color I'll probably have to use my um, watercolors. I do you have anything? And black. Yes I do. One is black, one is white, one is black, one is white. This could be a quite tedious sample if you're not cutting and making this. It's better if you can represent it really nicely to really sell the idea. Here are your moldies, filling this up. So you just want to give you an overall idea of what this would look like. 
And then, um, so this watch, this is a big uh, pattern. And this watch is a little bit too small. So I, I, I'm guessing that the, the red would repeat like every chunk like this. So I'll put just like some red scents here and there, just to give it like some, just to make it pop a little bit. Let's see, I think the most dominant color is uh, navy. So um, yeah, definitely it would look nicer if I come with my watercolors. Navy is usually a color that you have to fabricate. So note here that I'm using a kind of a shitty brush. It takes a lot of experimentation to find what sort of medium you like to use. So um, at the beginning, don't spend a lot thinking that you know if I if I get really nice tools, then I will like um, painting or like using watercolors. Um, because yes, that might be true, or maybe you just don't like watercolors at all, and then you spend all this money with um, art supplies. So um, yeah, there will be a point when you will be <laughs> spending a lot of money on on art supplies, trying to figure out um, what works for you, and that is uh, unavoidable. Maybe you can borrow from someone. Um, but the experimentation part could be, ooh, this looks terrible. Wow, this looks nothing like this thing. <laughs> ah, damn it. So yeah, this was probably a part where um, it would have been nicer to just go on Photoshop or just go much rougher with the colors and not try to oh let's try to make this exactly like the fabric like i did let's leave it like this because maybe once i draw the rest of the things it won't it won't show so much i'm thinking for the rib it can be very subtle um, grab a bunch of of whitish colors because I think from this drawing you can understand that is like a, a rib fabric but um, yeah let's try to replicate something like this using colors <laughs> I was being lazy about making this video. Not that I was being lazy, it's because it's a lot of work and it can be quite tedious. I guess that for this fabric, this would be sort of like the closest. One trick that, like if this is just a rough study, one trick that you can use is just to paint. You don't need to paint everything. But sometimes when you're showing drawings to clients, if you just do this, they uh, they might not understand that this is just like, oh, I didn't want to like soak my paper with expensive markers. And they'll think like, oh, this is what it prints or this is a cutout. So, so. And I'm now realizing that my brush is a little bit too wet and I forgot to get some tissues. Let's roll with it. So here I'm just doing an outline as if the fabric were um, just navy, which is not the case. But then we can, like we see here that I tried to um, 
illustrate all the, the texture and colors in it, and it didn't work. So um, let's go simpler with it. Like this is supposed to have like lots of flair. Maybe you don't even need to like just give it a hint where the fabric is going through here, and that should be enough. And then regarding the outline and shading of things, that's another part that you have to experiment. Like, I'm trying to avoid shading with um, these sorts of off-whitish tones because I use them here. But let's see if maybe this one would work. Maybe. Sometimes I don't really like these sort of markers because they're never black enough. But hopefully this should show you that not every designer is a very skilled fashion illustrator or even if they are you like there's more work to be done so you should like we need to find ways to um, illustrate our ideas very fast and, uh, let's use a whole bunch of colors since i'm just experimenting here and if it looks horrible in the end, I am very sorry. It's this sort of pink. Let's go, go, go. This is another reason why um, like you don't always need to be wasting too much time coloring your drawings because once you do, then it takes a lot, like it can get messy at first and then you have to fully finish it to see, to make it look like something. Because at this point it's just like some blobs of color and a lot of the, the definition was lost. Okay, definitely not a shocking thing, but... Ooh, I hate this! <laughs> I hate this so fucking much! So we came to the conclusion of part one. Sometimes you do it, and it sucks! So, what can you do? Try, yes, but um, also try again. So, good thing I didn't print a lot of these on the, the expensive paper because you might make a lot of mistakes before finding the right technique for things. Let me, let me do this one because this one is small. Imagine this is a white shirt with a strap
just to make use of these fabric samples that I have here and not copy my Conveyor sewn skirt completely, let's think, like, let's imagine how this would look like if I use this oversized gingham. Maybe here's a good place to have some lines. Let's pretend this person is wearing shoes. Um, shoes are a tricky part. You know? I'm, I confess I'm not very good at wearing shoes. Well, speaking from this video, I'm starting to doubt when I'm good at drawing anything. Ooh, I mean. So, um, sometimes I just need to if you're not a shoe designer, you just need to get an idea of a shoe and uh, then add some like, shading near the feet. And here I'm just going to make a simpler version of this one. 
twice. And we're going to get into messy territory again. Okay, here I can see that the leg is looking a little bit too real, like an elephant. Like this is where we'd have to go and add, uh, like come up with some sort of stockings. This one I did a lot less in a second. I'm still not happy with um, with this one, but yes, it all depends on like how much definition you need to give to things and like at what stage you are presenting. Is this just like um, a rough idea? but uh, it just needs to present with color to really like sell this or um, this is a final illustration and in this case like I probably need to go back on Photoshop and make this face less um, I need to remove all the shading from the face it's contrasting too much it's not looking great uh, for the template well not this one for the template it sort of worked and uh, we had to be quick anyway so um, but then when you're making the like something a little bit more finalized you probably want to go and redo this or you make your own face and uh, add to this so yeah this part is a little bit more tedious for every new sort of um, fabric or texture or prints that you're trying to illustrate you're gonna have to uh, play around with what sort of technique you can use and um, yeah this could take a while and uh, it can be very messy as you can see on my first one more or less the same idea but depending on what techniques are used it is looking very different. This, like it's rough, but it's got a certain charm to it. And then when I try to paint, it looks awful. And this one, when I just did the um, markers very quickly, it sort of worked. So assess 
what the project is asking for, what you need to, like, do you need to present this for a client that is not from fashion, like in case you're a freelancer working with um, like a, a startup, or um, are you working in a atelier and then you need to present something like a really nice sketch that you're going to give to the, the an extremely skilled team of pattern cutters and seamstresses doing like couture for example or um, are you working in a very fast-paced design studio so you do this and then you would immediately get some fabric and try to drape it on a mannequin and uh, and then in this case you would never need to go and waste time trying to add color or if you're super good with um, photoshop or illustrator then don't waste time doing this you see like there's always a chance that you can get messy and then you waste material you waste time you waste materials is you cannot just edit something like this in real life um yeah they so it's up to you to, to find out what works for each new illustration or each new idea that you're presenting and uh, be fast about it because this took me I'll find out uh, once I edit this video but I'm assuming that for this I did not take more than 40 minutes and uh, I already realized that it's, nope don't try to don't try to be too precious replicating this texture because it's gonna take a lot of time and uh, it might not look good so just do this it's good enough just need to have an idea of how this color will work against these other colors um, don't try to be too precious with illustrating the gingham because it can look atrocious yeah lots of things to uh, conclude from this video and um, I thought you nothing yay but um, yeah so hopefully you saw that um, even if um, like I'm not terribly bad at illustration but um, I avoid it because it does take me a lot of time and these days I rarely do it and so whenever I sit down to do it it start first I do a big old mess and um, so maybe if I um, if you're trying to improve your illustration skills then uh, don't do like me don't do like once every forever try to do it more or less like consistently at least like once a week and eventually you see like oh i'm getting a lot faster <laughs> um and uh, you find out if you're good with watercolors with pastels or with markers or i hate colored pencils i think you have to be really 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 good to actually like make something in colored pencil that doesn't look like a preschool drawing um but you know maybe you are really really good and uh yeah i'm rambling let's stop here and uh yeah i think i ended the creative process playlist at a good point i think next step would be to go and actually cut and make this in real life so you would see how it works but it would take a lot of time and a lot of fabric it would cost money and right now i am uh, yeah i do not have these two resources abundantly available for me so uh hope you got something out of this video and i'll see you on the next one bye